yeah i welcome you guys back to my channel today it's genius graphics in today's tutorial you guys are going to learn how to design a flyer and how to edit it using snapseed application so without wasting our time let's us dive into the tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much let's dive into the tutorial yeah Welcome back guys so now i'm going to delete this text we have over here then i'm going to import my background for my gallery yeah so this is it i'm going to select it and i'll be changing it to square yeah so now i'm going to add a shape i'll move to my gradient i'm going to add and i'll select this i'll change it to color white then this other side i'll change this also to transparent color can you see i use this place over here now press ok yeah So I'm going to mark it now I will move to my relative size I will increase it to 100 and I move to my position I'll press the middle and this yeah so this the shape I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to lock my layer yeah so now I'm going to import the latest image we'll be using I think I have it here, here, here. So I'm going to change it to square and I'm going to mark it. Now I will increase the size to something like 94. Yeah. And I'm going to place the image over here. I think you can see that. Yeah. So let's lock that layer right now i'm going to type my text the name of the brand so it is motion so i'm going to type it then i'll move to my font i will select the mag light font yeah so all resources used are in the description. Yeah. So I'm going to increase my size. Yeah, then I'm going to place it over here. So now I'm going to move to my color. I will select a gradient fill. I'm going to change the color to a gradient field and I'm going to add a custom gradient yeah so this is the combination of the color this side is color black why this side is little pink not full pink yeah then I'm going to change change this node i think you can see yeah so now this particular text i will send it to back yeah so it's going to be on top of this white so now i need to create a grid line for the text over there i'm going to make sure i create a perfect grid line for it yeah. yeah that's okay for me so i'm going to duplicate it and i'm going to place it over there now i'll move to my mask then i'm going to move the mask 
over here because I want the little edge of the M move to the back of the hand. So I'm going to adjust these nodes. I think I got it. So now I'm okay with that. So I'm going to lock those layers. The next thing I'm going to duplicate the text and I'm going to type Kucho. C O U T U R T. Yeah. So I will reduce my font. I'll reduce my size. I'm going to place that also at this middle. Yeah, as you can see that. So the next thing now, I'm going to lock my layers. Then I will move to this place. I will add a shape. Yeah. So I'm going to move it down here. Yeah. I'm going to change the color to this particular field. So the next thing I'll be doing now is to duplicate this shape. Then I'll move to my edit. I will add a new gradient field. So now I'm going to bring this over here and this over here. So I'm going to change this to color white and then this to a transparent color okay yeah so i want to create this glossy effect so i'm going to mask it then i will remove this edge sorry i'll remove this edge and move this up bring this out yeah so now i'm just going to do this like this this and I'm going to move to my opacity and I'll reduce it to something like 30 yeah so now I'm going to lock that layer next thing I'm going to type we sell okay then I'm going to move to my color. I'll change this to color white. Yeah. So now let's list the products the, the offer. So now I'm going to add my text. Then I'm going to paste it. I have it copied already. I'm, I'm going to press OK. Now I will move to my font and I will select the Pangam Black. Oh, sorry, the Pangam Regular. Okay. Yeah. So this is it. I'm going to change my color to color black yeah so that is okay like that let's lock the layer so the next thing is to add the instagram handle and the phone number i'm going to type my text and i'll type the phone number for 234 yeah so i'm going to add some space and write the instagram handle okay so right now i'm going to reduce this text size yeah so i'll move to my font i'll change it to the pangam regular yeah 
the color is going to be color black and i move to my style i'm going to make it bold yeah it's going to be bold yeah so now i'm going to bring this grid line to this side and i'm going to make it match that that particular angle so let's import our whatsapp icon and the instagram icon yeah this is the whatsapp icon so i'll reduce my size to 4 now place it here ah, sorry i'm going to be placing that over here So now I'm going to import my Instagram icon also. Yeah, this is it. And I'm going to mark it my size also I'm going to reduce it and I'm going to add a little shadow I'm going to add the transparent black and I will reduce my blur radius I will bring this by two yeah so my relative size I will reduce it to four I think the shadow blur radius is too much. Yeah, so it's okay like that. So I think the Instagram is too big. It's bigger than the WhatsApp. So I'm just going to position it well. Yeah, I think my shadow also is too is too out. And let me increase the darkness. Yeah okay so we are here now let's save as image and i'm going to save this high yeah so after doing all this now it's time to give it some editing to make it pop up now i'm going to move to my pscc application after it's finished saving yeah so i'm going to move to my pscc application yeah and i'm going to open the image yeah. so the image is successfully imported so let's start creating the effects so i'm going to import the clothes the glow the golden clothes i'll be importing them yeah so i'll be using this first I'm going to increase the size and I'm going to rotate it and I'll place it right here. Yeah. So now I'll move to my blur radius, my Gaussian blur, then I'll give it 10. I think you can see where I went to the FX, then the Gaussian blur. 10. I you see the, it is 10? Then you mark it. Now you are going to add another cloth on your library. So I will be importing this. So I'm going to zoom to this edge. Yeah. I'll just add this over here. yeah so now i'll give it the same gaussian blur effect sorry and i'm going to mark it 
Now the last clothes. Yeah, which is this. Yeah. So I increase my size. I rotate it. Then I'm going to place it over here. So I'll be giving that also a little blur. Yeah. So let's add some lens flare. Just add an empty layer. Then move to your brush. Add a white brush. Then you see my size, the highest size. Then the hardness, I reduce it to something like 22. Then the flow 100, the opacity 100. So I'm just going to draw, tap the screen. I just tap anywhere like this. Then you move to this place, you press transform. Yeah. So now you just bring the brush that I drew that I drew on the face. You just bring it to this side. Then you mark it. Can you see that? Can you see we have a lens flare over there? So I'm going to duplicate the page. Then I'm going to transform it. I'll bring it over here. Yeah. So I'll duplicate it again. I'll transform it. I'll bring another one to this place. To the whistle side. Then the last one. I'll transform it. Then bring that to this side. Yeah. Yeah. So now that's ready. I'm going to done press done and I'm going to save it. So after saving, I'm going to export to my library. Just press the save to gallery and press OK. Yeah. So the next thing, I'm, I'll be opening my Snapseed application. So this is Snapseed. You open the image you want to edit. Then this is it. I'm going to select it. Then I'll move to this place where I have the looks. Then I'm going to move to the Ascent Weight. Can you see that? Ascent Weight. So it's going to load then it's done so i'm going to mark it now i'll move to my tools then i'll move to this selective i think you can see selective so the the lady's face is too bright so i need to reduce the brightness just tap on the face then i'm going to reduce some effects over there I'll reduce the contrast, then the saturation also, I'll reduce it. Yeah. So, can you see? This is the before, this is the after. So, I'm going to export it. And I'm going to save it to my device. Yeah. Our image is ready, so I'm just going to view it. Wow, can you see those lens flare and those images we just add? Can you see how everything looks? Everything makes it pop up. So, guys, that's all the processes I do for this flyer. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also share these videos to your friends. Thank you so much. Bye bye.